When friends become enemies. Juve plays Spell, which sounds like a co-op, so I'm not confident. <gasps> Spell have scored. Laps have done it. Okay, we need to get a Juve have scored. I was going to make Ch Spell have scored again. Oh, Spell. If you manage to hold that over there, then I will buy your best player for my entire budget. Find out this summer if history will repeat. I'll concentrate on this match. Spell of Oh my- We've won the league! We've won the league! We've- <laughs> Spal! Spal! I can't believe it! We've won the bloody league! Spal! How the shit has that happened? Bum. Bum, 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 bum. And now it's time for you to win the league. I like Michael Bublé. Now it's my uh, my best impression, I think, probably. I don't need that. Um, sh hell. That was a mistake. It's supposed to just drop. To I'm a liability. Everything crashed. That was ridiculous. Hello there, folks. Welcome back to another episode of Parma Drama. It is the final day. We've had a final day before. You saw what happened last time. That's when it went down to the wire. And today, it's set to do something very, very, very similar. Get your seatbelt. Sit, sit comfortably. Seatbelt. Lock yourself in. Because this is going to be... A, that... I was doing seatbelt animations. How did that happen? But yes, today uh, we've got a very important end to the season. If you take a look at the Serie A, uh, we are level on points with Juventus. They are top uh, based on our head-to-head -head record. You can see that we have goal scorers aplenty, average ratings to marvel at, uh, most assists, which is not really that important. But we are the two times winners of Serie A, and I'd like to make it three right here, right now. So let me explain the journey we're about to go on. Uh, Fiorentina first, and then... The old friend Spal, we're going to have to give an absolute whopping to to make sure that we, we put ourselves in the hunt for that Serie A title. That's great, Ben. Thanks for telling us. But what are, what are Juve up to? Well, they play Catania and Frosinon. And they've not lost for a little while in the league. Ooh. It's going to be emotional. It's going to be exciting. And this is the team we're going to play at the start of today's episode. Manfredini at right back. Carlos Roberto at centre back. Rubio. Damaco. Ah, it's a final day. You have to do it. Uh, Borba. Zidane. Oliveira. Munch just behind Sharon Monnier. Uh, Robert and Kondogbia out injured. Heartbreak. But here we go then, folks. This is where dreams become reality. Boys become men. Video likes become reality. Okay then, so uh, first game, Fiorentina, a game that really we would be expected to win. On any normal day, on any given Sunday, um, we would be likely to win this match. Not just win it, but demolish them. They're in seventh. Um, if we win this, we keep ourselves in the hunt for that title. Uh, if we fail, the likelihood is Juve will win. So we've got to be prepared for every eventuality. We cannot let the guard slip. Why, when it comes to title challenges, do I say the word slip? Just, it's like it's ingrained now. I'm going for a calm team talk as if nothing is different from normal. Although we know, we know, after our discussion just now, we know that plenty can go wrong. So then, boys, here we have it. Fiorentina, it's a double game episode. And here we have it. Parma, Juve, one winner, one champion, one moment. An early start would be fantastic. Monnier with his first chance of the game and he's not letting the ball go out. He's chasing every ball. DeMarco puts it in. Manfredini gathers out to Monnier. Into the box. Monnier strike a goal. Munch! Oh, uh, we scored. I don't know if you've noticed. 1 0. I don't know, I've just done the match of the day theme tune. I mean, we're in Italy, for goodness sake. So here you can see then, Monnier cuts inside. He he rifles one at the chest of the goalkeeper. The clearance is lacking, and Munch pops home. Uh, we will check in on the Juve result to see where that puts us. Are oh, they already winning? Oh, six minutes. Okay, then. Where are Catania? 11th. Come on, Catania. Here we go again. DeMarco with a big switch of the ball. Manfredini does not win it, but... You know what? Manfredini never loses it. Sharon through. Where's he going? Plays it to Oliveira. Back to Sharon. He can't shoot from there, can he? Monnier in the box. It's a good save. Monnier's had two shots saved by the goalkeeper. Uh, but if we keep the pressure on, things can only go our way. Or Juve's way. I mean, that is the, the joys of football. I'm not here to sell football to you. I'm going to guess you probably like it already. 
Right, Rubio collects out to DeMarco. Now, DeMarco and Manfredini have been fantastic this season. Monnier through to Sharon. It looked a little bit offside, but the goal's been given. Sergei Sharon with his third, well, Charlie's Theron, as we call him, has scored his 33rd goal of the season. And here it is, Zidane. Little ball into Monnier. Monnier with the assist. He, the, the goal scorer has turned provider. And Sharon, with a lovely neat little finish, makes it two. Catania, all I want is a single solitary goal. Make me the favourites going into the final day and I'll do whatever you want. In fact, I may I may make a promise. I'll show, oh, good grief. Neri. Oh, it was good for the first occasion. I'm not sure what he does with the second shot. That's curious. I, I look forward to watching it, though. So it's, that is a lovely bit of control. Tackle. Uh, the first save is exceptional. He's now in the goal and he goes through the net and dives. I tell you what, it's... It's a magic trick. That's what it is. A bloody magic trick. And boy, do I love a magic trick. Right then, at the half, Juve are winning. Uh, so are we, which means that we stay level, but Juve remain on top. As you can see here, Borba has picked up a slight knock. Because he's in form, because he's playing so well, uh, and only missed a couple of games last time because of suspension, we keep him on the pitch until it's absolutely necessary that we bring Domingo on. Uh, but for now, Borba remains. Okay, chance for Fiorentina. They might start putting the pedal to the metal. That's three times in one week. Here we go then. Munch, forward. Charlie's the run. Monnier has made a run, but Manfredini is in so much space he could open up a garden centre. Here we go. Manfredini, that's disappointing. And they're through. Fiorentina on the counter-attack. Into the box. Neri's missed it for sake. We're going standard. I feel like... A calm approach, control actually, a calm approach is the way to victory. Capezzi runs through, lovely lovely sounding name, and uh, he finishes it quite easily. Neri's positioning is not good. Ah, you have scored a second, which means we, we cannot afford to uh, to lose this game. We can't afford to draw this game, frankly. And as I say that, the counter-attack in full effect. Monnier on the left-hand side, Chiron in acres of space. Chiron doesn't miss. Neri in goal for us, Neto in goal for them, but Sergei Chiron is the man of the moment. It's another goal. It's 3-2. It will go to a final day if things remain the same. I mean, I think it'll, it'll go to a final day, whatever happens, but yeah. It's a lovely finish. If Catania can pull something out of the bag, that would be marvellous. It's time to take Borba off. There's a six sec six minutes to go. I think Borba's d done his business. We need him for that final game. Uh, bringing on Domingo at this late stage. Five minutes remaining. Hold on to this win. I love a final day bit of drama. So I'm happy for it to go to a final day. Here we are. Corner kick in the in the latter stages. Oliveira wins the header. I'll tell you what. We could be we could be suffering to a counter attack here. It could all crumble in a matter of minutes. Here we go. Ben Saginia, who scored the goal for them. Gabriel Silva on this. Side. Ball whipped in, cleared. Oh my god, don't do it. God damn it. <laughs> Why has it got to be someone who's got the same name as me at the stop? <laughs> 60 seconds left. I mean, we are throw we're trying to throw it away. One away result at a time. It's just disappointing. No, surely not. Oliveira. There could be a late chance here, folks. Manfredini on the right-hand side. Zidane, it has to be now. You f***ing idiots! Going into the final game, Frosinon, who are 18th, who wear the same colour kit as Spal, have to beat Juve, and we have to we have to win our game against Spal. It's <sighs> a problem. Bunch of tough guys, yeah? You look like a bunch of sissies after a cat fight. You got anger, kid? That's good. You're going to need that. So you got aggression? That's even better. You're going to need that too. But any two-year-old child can throw a fit. Football is about controlling that aggression. Harnessing that anger into a team effort to achieve perfection. Some coaches, they'll drop a player if they think he's not up to snuff. This is a public school programme. Now, this is, this is Remember the Titans. This doesn't suit. This doesn't suit at all. I look ridiculous. So I've got the biggest game in the Palmer's history, well, especially this season, and uh, one I look like this. Two Madrid have gone. We'll have some of that. Have you, Real? Really? Is this is this what's done? If they could see this, I'm not sure they would offer me the job. They would they would go to my. I'd, I'd go. Can we come in? It's, it's Real Madrid. Hey, do what the f is that? What are you doing over there? You it, you lunatic! And then one of the other board members who was who who's like going yeah yeah would come over at the end and go can I get one of those? Sorry, Rayal, I've got a job to do, boys. Apologies, but no. Okay, then, folks. And this is the formation we're going with. The Tursle formation is back, and do you know what? We're, we're relatively familiar with it, which is good. Um, I'm not wearing. I'm not just not wearing this. This isn't helping anyone. No one's going. Oh, that's going to improve matters. Do you know what? I'll wear it like this. I'll wear it like a headband. Like I think now there. That's better. I mean. I looked stupid before, 
No, at least I look cool. I look like a tennis player. It's ridiculous. Okay, so we've been uh, planning the, the, the turtle formation. I've just made a quick change. I've just taken Borbro and put in uh, Witzel and changed it around a little bit. I think this team is still capable. I mean, we're fluid and familiar in this formation. The team is Neri, Roberto, Rubio, Oliveira, uh, Witzel, Domingo, Munch, Dan, Ramirez, Sharon, and Monier. Let's get straight into this. It is the final day. We need to win. You may need to lose. There's nothing more to it than that. Spal are our opposition. Of course they are. Of course they are. Are. Uh, they can be up to 10th if they win today. They're, they're probably going to finish above Milan, which would be pretty mental. Um, Frosinon, they are the team we've got to, to focus on. They are away at Juve. Dramatic things have happened at Juve Stadium before. They're playing wingers. We're screwed. Right, I'm going assertive with the team talk. And then I'm going to go passionate. Not sure that could have gone any better. Oh, no, 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 it could have gone better. We're the world's most fearsome fighting team. No, you're not. Look at you. You look ridiculous. Okay, so in the early stages, Juve have scored... That's, that's that's the development. Juve have scored a penalty, and we haven't done anything. Well, we've d Monier has scored. Oh, this could happen. I'll tell you what would be the worst thing. If Juve draw and we win, that will be infinitely worse. Okay, so we've scored a goal. Monier, of course, is the one to have scored it. Uh, I think it's a shot from distance first. Chiron cuts inside. Great strike. And uh, Monier is on hand to poke home. Both teams currently in the lead. Should be remembered, though, Juve took the lead last time. Chiron's got injured. For God's sake, Norman, it's your last game for the club. Do the business. Keep your eyes on Frosignon. That was unfair. That happened so fast. Monier in on goal. He's missed it. So Juve are 3-0 up. Hmm. That's not good. Well, at least we're winning. If we don't win the title today, and I'll be honest, last time this happened, it was pretty dramatic. Uh, this time round, it's not quite as dramatic. So at half time, we are 1 0 up. Uh, Spal, thanks for coming, but you're not really proving any sort of competition. If Frosinon score 4 3, I won't just buy their best player, I will spend my budget on their team. I will I will spend my whole budget on two. Well, we have to win, I guess. We have to be part of it. Uh, Spal have scored. Brilliant. And it, oh, they, they like doing this on final days. I should know. Neri, neri, neri. Just deary me. Fuzz and Young, if you want to, like, kick the ball a bit, that'd be great. Just do that a bit. It's not happening. Right, I'm going to hope. This is how we're going to increase the drama. I'm going to get rid of the league table. And the... So Dan's injured now. Come off it. This is the formation I'm playing now. I actually look like a person. I mean, the team looks like a person. I am, I am a person. So what's going to happen is we're going to score. Fuzz and Young are going to score four. And I'm going to win the league. And it's all going to happen... Coming up after this break, we need to go attacking. Right, we are in a 2 2 1 2 3 formation. I don't know what it is. Munch, forward with it. That's not good. I've never played this formation before. I mean, what can go wrong? Neri's giving it away. Oh, God. Narva, Narva. I will say that if Rossignon have come back, do you know who's going to be really pleased with this result? Juve. They're going to be going, ah, yeah. <laughs> You thought you thought we were the only ones to get battered by... I've gone from loving Spal to really disliking them. I don't think my formation's got anything to do with it. I honestly thought this would work. But we've, we've lost... Well, now nah, we've lost, haven't we? So that does mean it's it's finished. What's, this is becoming quite the anti... I'm taking this off for a start. Oh, well... That's, you know, that's mistakes. Unless you've ever been done for cheating, that... that I mean, it's possible, then... Ooh, then it ain't looking good for us. And the winner of the league... Oh, Juve won it 3-0. So we we didn't do it. I feel like what's gone on before in this episode has kind of made it a bit of an anti-climax. Uh, and that's it then. We haven't won the league. It's not quite like last time, is it? Juve won it again. Where does that leave me now? Where does that leave the series now? What am I supposed to do? Juve win. And what's left for me to do? Next episode, cup final. I mean, at least we can look forward to that. So there we are then. It's the end of the season. We've come second. Yeah. We're rubbish, innit? It's not, it's not as fun when you lose. I'll say that much. Uh, so yeah. Do we do one more year? I guess that's down to you. The comments section. What are we doing now? Can't believe that's just happened. It all happened so fast. <laughs> Probably should have taken that Madrid job. I mean, that would have been a good idea. Bloody hell. We love with care. From me, Dr. Benji. Until next time. I'll see you again. If you've enjoyed the video, please leave a like. If you want to see more, subscribe to the channel. We love you care from me, Dr. Benji. Goodbye. Maybe forever.